Hello everyone, I wanted to make a quick video on the project of what I was making regarding the control of a solenoid and this is the control center based on Arduino Nano I used some basic programming, I will leave everything linked below and this will control a MOSFET driver but instead of showing you on the MOSFET I'm using an yellow LED here. I made some programs based on modes that you can change either being pulses and uh, being a potentiometer that is not here but I will show you later why and I dir direct mode and direct mode to control it straight away or a micro motor for the pulses, you can change on the button the frequency of the pulses and it will control it on half, half second and half second off and you can see the LED blinking only part of it and if, if you change the frequency it will blink faster but to control the, the mode on the both buttons you can press one by one until 10 and if you press again, it, it will go five at a, uh, five at a time. It it will be faster. And I put a limit on twenty five because the solenoid doesn't stand uh, above twenty five. It's the natural frequency of the the weight. It's not the same. I will make some tests later. And when it on pulses and direct direct mode, it will control based on an equation of the solenoid. I will show you how it is on the link if I press the direct mode it will blink on the 25 seconds 25 Hertz frequency I can change during the cycle if I want to they are they are independent one or one another so I first yeah. tested with a, sol a small solenoid 5 volt solenoid it, just to show it who, if it was able to control it and then I change it for a different holding uh, for a different solenoid also but this one I realized that the the ground was on the amateur of the solenoid and it will short and I got a different solenoid on the internet that it's closed and it's there's no opening behind to control the piston and it, it's quite good right now I'm um, only five milliseconds is enough for you to get the piston all over but I think I'll have to cut to make it shorter here so I'll cut the the length of the the piston to make it better it's not a piston because there's no pressure but anyway I even tried different methods with open solenoids that I would use let me see here a sol uh, commercial solenoid 1335 but since we have this removable on the back you have to control it so it will not pop out and I I'm still thinking on how are we supposed to make this and this is the solenoid I was saying it's a 12 volt solenoid and the difference between the 1330 and 1335 it's this will go 5 millimeters and the 1330 will go up I think it's 2 millimeters so I was thinking about it also and I made uh, several different variants here this variant is a uh, has a thread on the back so you can thread it and if you don't want the the wire on this side you can put on the other side that will be okay the the center is still a on plastic but i got this brass rod here that that i will make the inserts so i'm thinking on making the inserts on brass and cut it and leave it like this because the brass will last longer than the plastic 
and I think the fitting it's good I'm using a collet from GRS and you can just fit it inside and it's snug that is still play but you can control it it's only held by the o-ring here and thinking about all of this I started making the circuit board to control it instead of using the Arduino Nano I thought hey I can make a circuit board so I made a circuit board here it's not soldered the MOSFET the fittings the headers so this is the ba based on the same Arduino the AT Mega 328P AU and everything is okay I even left some extra pins for you to if you want to um, make another programming and there's the the headers for the display here the ICSP pins and I put the pedal header if you want to put a analog pedal or if you want to put a digital pedal here inside it's up to the likings I put a big reset button here because it was better to use the same one so I have the solenoid, the flyback diode that will dissipate the the hall current that is generated by the solenoid when it's off. And I made a control board with other with six buttons, three potentiometers, and you can even see if the, the power is on when you press the button and everything's labeled, so you just have to connect this pins with this ones with jumper wires I I'm not sure what I'm going to use but um, this is basically what I used I had several failures and several success success but for this I think it's enough for what I wanted it's not remotely based on a commercial product is only for passing time or even inspiring people to make different different prototypes but as, as soon as I get a saw I will chop the length here on the piston they, they are the same solenoids and I will maybe use a more ergonomic handle with this this way so I can hold it that's it then if you want to I will leave the link be, below with everything I used and how I managed to control it we still I still have issues with the refresh rate on the on the LCD if I put on the direct mode with a higher frequency every time the LCD refresh you can see the LED blinks a little bit weirder and you are only seeing the weird blinking because it's refreshing and it's losing track of the PWM that I made. I made some codes for for a Raspberry Pi Zero. I think it's way easier than using the Arduino. They have a good library and if you know any good library for PWM that you can change the frequency not only on the megahertz but only 10 hertz a region there, please let me know. Uh, apart from that, thank you so much for watching, taking the time and maybe I will update later on everything that I made. I still have to solder the components here. At least this will be, even if I don't use this board here, this will help me to control what I want. Even if I'm not using this machine, I'm using another machine. Having six buttons and three potentiometers, you can do whatever you want in your projects. Thank you. Bye-bye.